discussing the Texas wine region, the fifth largest wine region in the United States. The first vineyards planted in Texas in 1662 by Spanish missionaries near the Mexico-New Mexico border. In 1883, the oldest continually operating vineyard opens Valverde near the central portion of the Rio Grande River. In 1966, a project started in the Texas High Plains AVA consisting of an experimental vineyard with 140 wine grape varieties to see which wine grape varieties are best suited for Texas soil and climate. In 2005, Texas passes the Direct Shipping Act, which is a big boost to the Texas wine industry. The Texas climate is a warm continental climate similar to Portugal, Spain, Central Italy, and the Rhone Valley in France. Issues with growing grapes in Texas are spring frost, hail, and lack of water. Today, Texas has eight AVAs or American Viticultural Areas and 416 wineries. The AVAs are the Texas High Plains, Texas Hill Country with two sub-AVAs, Texas Davis Mountains, the Sea of Valley, Texoma, and Escondido. But let's discuss each of the AVAs. The Texas High Plains AVA is located in the Panhandle around Lubbock. 80% of all wine grapes grown in Texas are grown in this AVA. It is a continental semi-arid climate and many vineyards irrigate. Wine specialties in this area are Cabernet Sauvignon, Zinfandel, Tempranillo, and Grenache. Texas Hill Country, along with its two sub-AVAs, is located in central Texas, just northwest of San Antonio and Austin. Here drought's less of an issue, but it's more humid due to the closeness to the Gulf of Mexico, and the frosts are much harsher. Here, Merlot and blended wines are especially. Texas Davis Mountains is located in what's known as far west Texas near Fort Davis. Here the climate is much cooler and wetter than other areas of Texas and Cabernet Sauvignons are specialties. The Mesilla Valley AVA is located in the far western tip of Texas where Mexico, New Mexico, and Texas meet. It is a shared AVA with New Mexico. Wine specialties from this AVA are Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and Zinfandel. However, wines from this AVA are rarely available outside the AVA itself. The Texoma AVA is located in the central portion of the state borders between Oklahoma and Texas. Wine specialties from this area are Merlot, Syrah, and Tempranillo. The Escondido Valley AVA is located in Pecos County, Texas. Here we have a long, hot, arid growing season, so irrigation is required. Wine specialties from this AVA are Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, and Chenin Blanc. Like the Mesilla Valley AVA, these wines are rarely available outside the AVA itself. Now let's taste the wine from Texas. I'm going to be tasting a Timmins Estate Vineyard Lost Draw Vedra 2016. The Timmins Estate Vineyard is located in Lubbock County, Texas in the High Plains AVA. Morvedra is a dark-skinned grape originating in Spain, and in Spain the wine can also be known as Monastrel or Mutaro. It's also one of the wines of two fairly well-known French blends, GSM and Bandol. Well, let's taste their wine. Let's check on that clarity, brilliance, and legs. Nice and clear. Nice and brilliant. And this has some really substantial legs. Let's swirl our wine and take a sniff. smoky and tobacco aromas right away. Let's try another sniff. Some red meat and a flowery, I believe it's like a violet uh, aroma as well. Let's try a taste. pepper, blackberry, chocolate, and somewhat of a gamey flavor as well. Body's full. Alcohol for this uh, Morvedra is 13.9%. Acidity is medium. Sweetness is dry. 
Tannins are high as expected. Or Bedrew's a very tannic wine, so as expected, tannins are high. Overall balance, keeping in mind of the high tannic expectation for more Vedra, this wine is pretty much in balance. Some people may call it out of balance because the tannins are fairly high. Food pairings for this wine, hamburgers, pizza, barbecued meats, a steak, game meats for sure. You want to serve this in a red wine glass at 60, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to decant this because of the high tannins at least 60 minutes and it'll probably age up to 15 years. I hope you've enjoyed our discussion of Texas wines and I think you ought to get a chance to try them. They're hard to get outside of Texas so you're going to have to do some searching to find some wines but if you're in Texas make sure you take the opportunity to try some. I'm looking forward to our next video of we'll be covering the Michigan wine region and until then raise a glass and have a drink.